a Portuguese versus Tatars on the Arabia map. So let's take a look. We have backberries, the golds off to the side, but the wood lines kind of protect everything. So no problem. This is a pretty good TC spot. We have a good TC on this gold back here. So no problem. The only problems is the stones on this map. So as the Portuguese, of course, you maybe want to go into organ guns, although not against Tatars. So, you know, you're probably okay to just play crossbowmen here with the cheap crossbowmen. Crossbowmen is going to be really, really good. Um, and yeah, you just easily wall up like super easy. This side's maybe a little rough, but uh, yeah, no, you could wall just here and then to the house, like just little potato walls. You don't even need to wall the back, I guess. I mean, you kind of want to, so maybe you would just still just go to here. Um, but yeah, of course the Dark Age is completely fine. Um, yeah, no problems there. And I mean, when you're, when you're building stuff like the lumber camp here, you definitely want to get in the habit of just using one to build and the other ones to, um, to take the resources. It, it can give you just a little bit of extra wood in the early game. It's just a couple extra actions. And I mean, suddenly you have an extra like 15 wood or so. So it, it's kind of good because that can be the difference between not having enough wood and having enough for your production facilities. Uh, okay, so how's the scouting? We don't know do anything. What is up with this? We're just pushing deer. Premilled rush hits right now would kill you. You have no eyes on that. I mean, you have loom, I guess. But uh, imagine he came in with the, some militia right now could happen um yeah but you are walling in a logical way which is good and the timing that you're going it just feels like you're gonna go for scouts which is fine as portuguese portuguese can really do anything so no problem we don't need to wall over there yet though this ville should have come down here to help build the stable this is like you need a second ville to help build the stable anyways in case in case the enemy has his scout Oh look, we don't have enough wood on up because we sp sent all of the villagers to build the lumber camp instead of, uh, you know, using them to uh, one only one to build. So it actually would have made a difference in this game to do that small little um, efficiency. General, should I push one two deer and scout or one deer? Uh, depends on how greedy you want to go. If you need to, if send like the whole point of scouting is so that you know where your opponent's resources are so you know where to send your scouts and also you know what your opponent is doing so if you don't need to know what your opponent's doing then you don't need a scout if you're not going aggressive it's like maybe you don't need a scout as much yeah his scouts here um and that's why leaving a villager on his own at this stage is just a liability there was no reason to start walling this side and if you're going to start walling the side, you should just make a spear. Um, or or what you should have is your starting scout waiting here while you make up scouts. And uh, you should have already scouted the opponent's base. But that never happened. Oh, there's a free build, though. You'll, you'll get him back here. That's good. Just block with one. Yep, yeah, there you go. Nice micro. Yep, yeah, easy kill. Easy kill. All right, don't commit on these, though, because you're going to lose a bunch of HP. Oh, he had a weak build at the berries, though. That was That was bad by him. Now you run. What are you doing? Dude, he was so good until you just took, like, actually way too much damage for no reason. Oof. That was so good just until you kind of lost one of your scouts for free. Oh, man. Well, it was okay. Looked away. Well, what you should do is control click the enemy weak vill and then shift Q away. And then they'll just run away instantly after the vill's dead. You pretty much always want to do that when you look away. In this situation. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to kill a free scout here. He doesn't realize it yet. Oh, wow. You're on the high ground, though, now. Huh? Oh, my God. Wow. You, you actually almost killed that spear. He should have, like, two-tapped you, but you somehow got onto the high ground. Crazy. Um, All right. Nice horse collar before any farms. Although, you probably should have had horse collar and farms earlier. Let's just take a look at how the economy was from the start of Feudal Age. Um, we, we got the stable up here, and... Like, right here. Horse collar should come in just, like, right here, right? You pushed all this deer, though, so it's like you didn't need to add farms. But if you add horse collar while you're taking these, then you can, um, you have these for longer. Even though you lose a little bit more to decay, 
it just makes your eco a little smoother like this guy you could have easily had horse collar at any point right and then this guy could just make stuff because it's not like you can have everything around this anyways so instead of chopping stragglers you really wanted to get horse collar and just like add the farms earlier so yeah you don't really want to be floating that much wood um because now your your food eco is just gonna like go flat pretty much once that's done and you idled your TC a bunch there, too, while you were, like, placing stuff. Um, but yeah, this will hurt your uptime to Castle Age a little bit. Just a little bit. So I think that you're going to be up, like, kind of late. Which can be bad. If the opponent goes CA, he's going to have time to mass. Uh, but you have a lot of scouts. So um, Your opponent's playing open, so the scouts are fine to keep... You can basically keep spamming scouts until your opponent either has way too many spears or is closed. So, no problem. Um, yeah. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, go around this way, though. You know he has two spears in this area. You keep, like, kind of going up here. Um, yeah, what, what would have happened if you went down this way? Oh, you would have just found a wood line and maybe gotten a kill. I don't know. Uh, okay, no problem, though. So... You got Wheelbarrow, which is good. As Portuguese, honestly, getting Wheelbarrow in Feudal Age is probably a good idea, because it only kind of costs you two bills instead of three. Um, don't know what happened there, but that's kind of bad. You don't really want to throw your scouts. At least you have one, so you can scout around, but sometimes you can... Sometimes you can, like, actually, um... Find a Walling Villager at some point, so it is nice to have two. Just with one scout, it's not that great. Uh, so you're a little far behind. Oh, wow. Like, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. What is this wall? You See, that's, you need to scout where you're going to wall from the start of the game. That's like part of the the scouting at the start. It's not just to find your sheep. You have to know where you're going to wall as well. So everything was good until you just like didn't go to here. Why the oat barrel costs two bills instead of three? Because it, it only takes, well, it takes more than 50 seconds now because they nerfed it a bit. But it takes like around 50 seconds to research. So, whereas a normal real barrow takes 75 seconds to research, which is three villagers. Uh, okay, this stable's way too late, as you know, because you want to be adding knights here. There's the knight. So a little, a little slow on that because he was distracting you. But yeah, this, this is a potato wall. Where's our TC's gonna go? Look, how long are we gonna be floating these resources? This is enough for a TC. We need to be adding the TCs. If you're not going three stable knights, you should be on three TC right away. Two stable knights with three TCs. So, how long is it going to take us to add TCs? Because that's that's the main issue that's happening right now. Okay, still not adding TCs. Still not adding TCs. Adding farms. Uh, why do we need a market? What does the market even do? You're gonna you're gonna sell your wood for some food or something like that? Isn't good. Isn't good. Floating gold. Well, the, the gold's gonna get spent on knights. Uh, but we should be three TC booming like crazy right now. The opponent's just gonna get so far ahead economically, because we kind of just went two TC or two two stable knights, which is not even an aggressive play. That's like just standard you have an economy to support two stable knights in early castle age because you're you're a resource float and you got to get your tcs behind this like if you're gonna go two stable knights with one tc you need to be making forward siege and a forward monastery like you can afford both um and yeah of course he's on ca tech we probably want to have plus two armor before engaging these things he's tatars on a hill that's not gonna go so well and this is where we throw the game because we we don't have enough knights here we're kind of just losing them and yeah, I mean, opponents got better, better economy, better technology, and better military. So you, you have no advantage in this game. Your only hope is to kind of get lucky and find a find an angle with these. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's almost too late to just add the TCs at this point. You you kind of have to go like really all in from this point. Like, I don't I don't even know. You're kind of stuck here because you're not set up to actually make anything that kills CA. You, like, you can't, all in knights is not viable against full CA, so, kind of, you're, you're kind of dead. Like, the, the opponent actually has to potato from this point, like, really hard for you to win. So, it's mainly stemming from not adding the TCs. If you're just on one TC, 
whatever you're all inning with the one TC has to work. But you didn't even all in with anything. You just kind of like made a few nights with low economy for no reason. So that's why Hope you are, doing you are well. super dead. Thanks, fights with knights. Defending doesn't win the game. Yeah, exactly. You can you can make yourself not die by making some defensive scorps or something. But like, defensive scorps are great when you're defending an economy. You're basically defending nothing <laughs> if you went for scorps in this situation. So, yeah, like the game is kind of already over. Um. You, like, you have to get lucky and just get some lucky raid that kills, like, 30 bills. So we're adding a TC now, but it's, like, way too late. This TC should have been on this gold. You could get, like, a Siege Workshop here, but, yeah, no, no. The opponent's been booming probably on three TCs this whole time. Yeah, I mean, opponent's just been booming this whole time. So. We're dead. If I did 3TC, is it better to make Scorp or Skirm against this? Well, it probably would have been fine to go Scorpion Defense to get you through Castle Age in this game, because you didn't open with ranges. If you had opened with ranges, like if you had gone for uh, Men at Arms Archer's play, then you would have had that Crossbowman option um, earlier. So that's why it's kind of good to go Men at Arms Archer's into Tatars, because then you can make Crossbowman, or you can easily make Skirms, something like that. As Portuguese, going scouts in this matchup is kind of not really the greatest. This map was okay for it, though. You were able to run around. It's fairly open, but still. Mm, yeah, you won't. Oh, oh, you are in. Uh, oh, let's go. You're going to throw your entire army here, though. I don't think it's going to be worth it. He still has the better economy. So now he, he still has better economy and better... Better eco. Like, oh yeah, you're, you're Omega dead because he's like Imperial Age. So, it, opponent just kind of played standard and, and boon properly. You're just behind in this game. There's just really nothing to nothing more to say. You just need to add TCs on Castle Age. When slash how do you determine to go all aggro versus boom? Depends on a lot of factors. It's, it's not so simple. If you're behind, you should go aggressive though, generally. Like, if you're behind, you need to make something work. If you're ahead and the matchup is good in the late game, then you can maybe play defensively. Um, well, in this game, like you know Tatars is probably going to go CA. As Portuguese, you don't have camels. And since he wasn't going for ranged units, like the only play that made sense was to go for 3DC with some Scorpion defense. It was the only thing that actually would have been really good here. Everything else was kind of not really optimal. Um, Tatar's player is being a little slow to push here, though. Being a little slow. He is just kind of chilling. He probably could have killed you before you got upgrades and stuff, and now you're up. So, he's waiting for... What, well, Silk Armor? Man, make a Treb. You don't need Silk Armor, Blue. Just make a Treb and win. Okay, well, he's giving you a bit of time, so that's good. Time is what you need. Time is definitely what you need. You have, I mean, you're, you're going the ultimate composition, the full trash. Loving it. That's a lot of Hussar, though. He doesn't even have the final armor, though, so. But, I mean, your guys are doing one damage per hit, so. He's just, he just has way too much. <laughs> They're so stacked. That's our late game is stronger, though. Yeah. Yeah. The, this composition... Very hard to deal with unless you have like a unique unit that's good against it. Um, or you have your own CA Hussar. Or it's like Arena and you can go Hal Bonager. Or if you have Camels, like Camels. But Portuguese doesn't have anything against this in the late game. So you kind of want to win an early Imperial Age. So in this matchup, you could definitely make... You could go 3TZ Boom in Castle Age. Scorpion Defense just to get you up. And then you can go for, like, an Arbalister push. You just make... Do that. Or you could, like, just have Crossbone Defense in Castle Age, which is probably even better. I mean, the Scorpions will just help a little bit. Um, it might... It'll slow you down, though. So, you know, if you can get away with just Crossbowman. Crossbowman, 3TC, get up to Imp a little faster, maybe. And get a castle, like, here, and then push with Arbs. Victoria is just bad. It's not, a, it's not good on any map, really. It, it, the economy is just worse than having bills. Uh, I feel like Camel Civs have an edge over Knight Civ in general. Uh, 
Well, in some situations, yeah, like in this situation. Organs uh organs die to both these units, so yeah, no organs don't help here. <laughs> 